Hey there, welcome back guys. In today's video, we're going to show you how to downgrade your Ender 3 S1 Pro. That's right, maybe you upgraded the firmware to have that experience where you could see a preview of what you wanted to print. Yes, you got it, but now all of a sudden your prints are going off and bonkers. Uh, but before you downgrade, you might want to um, recalibrate the board. You're going to have to level it again. Um, you can hear it in the background. and. Uh, that's with the firmware update sometimes things just um, are running a little bit faster I can say and a little bit more precise um, so I'm still on the fence I'm still experimenting with the latest firmware it does give you better prints it does it is moving a little bit faster uh, remember some G code files can be corrupt uh, so it could be the G code file it's not me it's you you know when you reach out to Creality and tell them your printer is messed up but um, you know, knowing that and moving forward, you, you want to print at least two or three files. If those files print, then you're great. If they don't print, then you know it's the firmware. Um, so on that note, I'm just checking the print. And usually I have my print per running in the background, but you don't hear that grinding. Uh, it's, not, it's not the grinding, it's just the things and things are just moving faster. So if you downgrade, things will go back to moving slower, even at 100%, it's moving faster. Uh, maybe I don't know what that speed is but you know and, but uh, I'm still on the fence but if you want to downgrade without any further ado let's get started all right so one of the reasons a lot of folks like to update is to get that print preview we managed to update the machine by getting a micro SD card that's eight gigabytes uh, and then as you can see we got a file on here that we want to see uh, once it loads uh, you got to push it in once I push it in and you can click on it now that you can only see if you use the Creality splicer Okay, see, there's an image. Kind of neat, huh? Now, um, this is great, but um, that's it. Good looks will only get you so far because your print's not printing the way it should, and some of you need to downgrade. So in this video, you know, some of you might say goodbye to that. Uh, but if you the, if you use the Ultra Cura Splicer, apparently it doesn't work. So you have to use the Curality one, which I'm not crazy about either. So I, myself, uh, might downgrade as time goes by for the... S1 Pro, here we go. That's what we're trying to go back to. So as you can see, the firmware here is 2.0.8.24, um, and then 2.1, uh, for the screen version, is uh, 1.0.2, and then you want to go back to here, uh, version 2.4 S1. All right, so basically, we will help you with that. So what you want to do is format your disk. So I'm going to do that. Uh, for me, I'm, I'm on the Mac. I'm going to open up disk utility and in disk utility I want to make sure I'm here or on the PC I think you just right click and you probably would have been done already and you're like come on let's go what's taking so long yeah the Mac is just um, it's just that way so I'm gonna go here erase it used to be in here though but they took it out with the latest update I guess they're steering away from PC support they want you to use their drives only so you click done now that's not enough so what you got to do now is open up the terminal so we're just going to go here, terminal, open that up. And once you open up the terminal, for me, I'm going to go into my notes. For you, um, uh, I'll leave a link to the show notes in the description if you want. Uh, I'll just get rid of that. All right, so in the terminal, just copy this code if you're on a Mac. Um, let's, uh, where's my bash? Here we go. It's going to create a list. And the list here, see where it says no name? I got, I got two no names. One would probably be my microphone. Or no, actually it's untitled. So I want to look for untitled. We have a DOS file. Ah, there it is. So this, see, I almost erased my microphone. All right, so see the, uh, the identifier is right there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the this right here, 4S, copy that. It's disk 4S1. So that's my identifier, right? And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for it over here. Oh, oh, this one had five. So all these fives, you can see how many times I've I've been down this road before. Whoops, wrong one. Right here. Um, so I'm going to change this disk identifier. I'm going to change this disk identifier. And then I'm going to change this disk identifier. Probably down here because by default, I think it's going to take the... Um, the page nation or numbers whatever you call it all right so once I did that I'm gonna go into terminal and on mount the disk you'll see the um, this disk right here it's gonna disappear it's just gonna unmount it sort of sort of like reformat it reformat it 
uh, and that is the correct. Remember, make sure it's the correct one. As you can see, it's uh, untitled. And then press Enter. See, it disappeared. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to write the 4096. Um, the, uh, there we go. Voila. That's the 4096 bytes per, you know, what's needed. Then you type in your password. Okay. And then we go, uh, now we're going to remount the disk. For this, I'm not going to copy from here because it'll take the numbers, but I um, can do it from here. Uh, we're going to mount it. We're going to put it back on our desktop. Control C. And right there, it should appear again. Just wait for it. On the Mac, it takes a little bit of time. Any minute, any day, please stand by. Your call is important to us. For quality purposes, your call might be monitored or recorded. Please stand by. Your technician will be with you shortly. Anyway, just wait. Um, maybe it's doing something. Maybe the elves. You'll see it appear. Or unless it'll, you'll know it appear. And you know it did because look, uh, 4096 bytes per cluster is right there. See, now we have that. And you need that. Oh, there we go. Um, I just saw something happen. There's no name. Where's my untitled? Nope, any minute. Please stand by. Your operator will be with you shortly. All right, so then we just wait. Up, oh, see, mounted successfully. So you see that mounted, and now we just have to find it. Up, oh, there it is, right there. See, it just moved around. It didn't, by default, I guess, because it had a new uh, experience, we erased it. All right, so now we're just going to go there. So I just decided to, instead of going back to where it was. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go to the Curiality website. This is where we are at 2.8. Um, we want 2.4. So it goes 2.6 and then 2.468. Oh, interesting. So that's how they figured out. I was like, where's 27? Where's 25? But I guess they're doing it in increments of, um, you know, anyway. Uh, so this is what we're going to download. We're going to click download. And of course, it just downloaded. We'll just go here to open in Finder. Okay, and there it is. We'll unzip it. Nice that it's zipped because some of the other versions are raw. Rosters. All right. Um, so now for your, um, for your, uh, your, what do they call it? Your touch screen, right? You're going to take this one, right? And I believe it's this one. But for some reason, there's a bin file too. So in this case, we probably want to read the directions. Okay. Uh, let's see. Display is where we are, because I don't recall that file. Format the TF card on the computer, uh, 4096, which is what we did. Put the file private in DWN set. Okay. So if you, to upgrade your, um, your touch screen, we're going to do private. Keep your privates private. And hold on the option key, and you'll do that. Um, and then you'll drag... Uh, this onto your SD card, okay, and then wait for that ding. Now this, remember, right now you're going to um, downgrade your um, touch screen, okay. So let's read the directions for the other half. So then once you pull that out, you know she's like, take it in. Can you take it in? Put it out. Take it in. Put it out. Like what? She's like. Your credit card <laughs> at the supermarket. All right. So anyway, um, don't pull it out. <laughs> Actually, like I just said, you have to eject it. For some reason, on the Mac, if you pull it out, uh, it you know it uh, what you call it. You know, it just doesn't do what it's supposed to, and you'll see emptiness on your screen. All right. So now that you did that, what does the other readme say? So once you're done with that, format the SD card. La, la, la. We did the 4096. And remember, you don't have to format it again. Just delete the files. So let's say, look, okay, boom, I just flashed my, um, my uh, LCD, right? So now I'm going to insert this back in since it was already formatted, right? So now this is going to go in. And wait for it. Wait for it. Mm. It takes, as you know, my, the Mac is just a little bit slower that way. Uh, you can go grab a coffee, come back, and, 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 and this will be... Uh, you know, it's there, it's getting there. Um, so up oh, there it is. So let's say you just flashed your, uh, your, your, your Cura, uh, whatever it's called, the LCD screen on your, your Ender 3 S1 Pro. You delete these files. You don't have to reformat it again. It's been formatted. 
um, for me, I have a, a micro SD card on the um, on the chip thing, so I can take out the micro SD and it's like universal. If you but if you have the uh, original SD card, then you know you would use that. All right, so now I'm going to go back here to my downloads because I am curious about what they say because there were different files in there. Remember, we're downgrading. All right, so the README it's all Chinese to me. All right, so there, uh, put the firmware file under. 3s1 pro okay bin and the stmf okay there you go all right so you know you got to do what they got to do so we're going to do put this one right and that one and then when you do that wait for the ding now you got this now with these two files in there you are going to um stick it in your printer okay uh, and then that's it. And then hopefully things will be back to normal. I remember after this firmware update, your bed's going to be off. You'll have to level it again. Uh, but for me, it worked. I find it a little bit glitchy. I might take the trip with you and go back in time because I, I find that it's printing a little bit faster. Um, and, uh, you know, I didn't change anything. Uh, and it's a little bit clunky. Um, so I might. I'm just doing a test calibration cube because uh, I'm not sure if it's the file or it's not like they say when you call uh, Curality, it's like, it's not me, it's you. <laughs> so right now I am printing this, and I was trying to print, what was I trying to print? I was trying to print um, this really cool uh, cube in a ball, but it didn't really work out. It, it just printed Wishy Gaga. Uh, I think it's over here. Uh, I know it should be in my downloads. Hold on a second. Good thing you get a you get a uh, preview. Nope, it's not in my downloads. Oh, there it is. This is what I was trying to print, but it wouldn't print. So I well, normally I print the fish to make sure everything's calibrated, and it printed well. Now I'm printing the cube, and hopefully that will you know let me know if it's the printer or this. But I don't like the way um, it's printing, to be honest with you. Um, so anyway, good luck. Hope this works, and let us know how it goes. Kind of neat, huh? As easy as one, two, three. It's just a matter of finding the firmware, flashing it, getting your um, SD card ready, whether it's micro SD or regular. As you can see, this is the regular SD card, but you can get one of those micros that fit in. This way you can uh, use it for your uh, printer and your uh, LCD screen. So that's what I did with this. Um, and I'll let you know how it goes. I'll keep you guys posted, but remember, um, you could always, who knows, maybe in the future, there will be a better version of it. Um, anyway, I hope this video helped you. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below or ideas for other videos. Remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time.